Welcome to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Today begins a three-game set between the visiting Red Raiders of Texas Tech and the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Hello again, everyone. I'm Casey Kendrick. We are down to the final three series left in the Big 12. That one is hit. Slow roller in the air. Rolls right over the top to Lexi Kill. That large team, and we'll, we'll discuss that throughout the weekend, I'm sure, but this is a team that feels like they're on the cusp. There is a strikeout, the first strikeout of the ball game. Four legs. Three one is hit to Talon Edwards. Makes the charge, makes the throw, and they're gone here in the weekend. And the Cowgirls trying to get things going, and that'll help the cause as that's going to be a double for Pillard. Great start for her. And and she gets that quick double and the Cowgirls obvious with this. Yeah, that's another another big hit and over the top a great catch over the top there in center field by Elder over the shoulder pitch. They were anticipating that win holding things in as that one is hit to third and that'll move the runner over. But so Caroline Wong would one here to Godwin. Hits that one right back to Blackledge. She underhands it over to first, and the Cowgirls get the double, but they can't get the run, and the Cowgirls are done here. Right. Yeah, I would have to agree, and especially, you know, coming into this weekend against Oklahoma State, really good opportunity for them to steal a game against a high RPI team like Oklahoma State and just for, further give them. When you're debating and you're in front of a crowd and how difficult that could be, but now signing as well, and that one is grounded to Bloodworth. And out number two. Texas Tech, Kansas is, is by far one of the most improved teams in the conference. As that one is hit to Rosie Davis, makes a play, and Elder is thrown out at first. So, out of bounds here in the top of the second. It's still from a, hey, we got to get rid of this. We, we, we're kind of down on ourselves. We're down on what's going on here as Davis punches that one into center field, but Elder under it for the out. So he took the staff. And you have to enjoy those times as well and uh, push through them. In fact, you do as Tim squares up on one, but Weinkoff is able to get it. And there's out number two. Pretty well hit, but Weinkoff able to get it. Now a 3-2 to Wark. And there's ball four. So the second base runner for the Cowgirls, they've had a base runner both innings now. The first one came off that double lead off. State to jump on them and get some runs. Only her third start of the season as McDonald hits that one into left and it's bobbled by Villa. And that's gonna end up being a double and the Cowgirls had a chance right there, maybe even to go score. Cowgirls trying to get a run here, but that's hit to the third baseman. Love, Love throws it across the diamond. And Texas Tech out of any trouble here. As a hitter, we're also looking at what their pitchers throw well and, you know, their tendencies and all that kind of stuff. There's so much data to be looked at. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, the better you're going to be. Here's another 3 2. Finally, there it is. And the first base hit of the ball game. So a walk followed by a single. Nobody out and two runners on for Texas Tech. Start squaring up some balls. That one hit right back. There's a turn and a no, not a double play. As that one is off the mark. Carly Godwin couldn't get it there. So they get the lead runner at third. And it'll be a fielder's choice for Barnhart. And the runner, Kreitz, will advance out to the pitcher, in fact, to Lexi her first time up. Just a little soft, easy pop up right in front of Lexi Kilfoyle. And this time she will hit it into left field and that is going to be an RBI single. And Wyckoff gives Texas Tech their first run and a lead in the ball game. Yeah, Wyckoff here doing what she does best. She hits a lot of balls opposite way and she just drives this ball into left field and gets the RBI and keeps their offense going. So one gone runners, it doesn't show a lot of emotion. Not sure you would know right now if she's way up or way down, but she's going to be way down here as that one will land, and that's going to score one. That's going to score two. And they play at third and an out. 
The Cowgirls get the out at third, but two runs do score, and the Cowgirls are trailing here 3 0 to Texas Tech on the two RBI double. Wow, a lot definitely going on in that play, but Via here with a great swing. Lexi Kilfoyle throws her off speed. I think she hangs it a little bit high, and Via waited back on it perfectly, able to drive it into right center and bring in a couple of runs. But it's all in this inning, leading to all three of those runs. And that one is going to be hit to Bloodworth. Throw over in time. Riley Love is out, but a lot of run production for Texas Tech. <laughs> <laughs> What to see that happen is good productive at bat for Jillian Pillard. She had the double to lead this start this ball game off and she takes a hit by pitch there. The kicker feel a little more confident in the circle as Edwards lays down the butt. Blackledge makes the throw in time and Pillard comes off the bag but able to reach back in there in time to Michaela Wark also there with eight as that one is hit into left field. That's going to bounce, and that's going to score a run. An RBI single for Caroline Wong as for the second time, Via kind of was a little indecisive out there in left field. Yeah. Oklahoma State. That one's hit pretty squarely, and that's going to be in left field. Via this time will camp out underneath it. Wynn definitely assisted that one, holding it down as Rosie Davis flies out for the second time in the ballgame. So two gone, runners at first and second. It was a strike, though, and Tim lined out to right field last time. This time she will line out over the wall. We've got a new leader in the clubhouse. Cowgirls lead it 4 3. Sound the horn. Clear Tim. Go to touch them all. Claire Tim just hit the yard and turned this ball game around with one swing. Yeah, Claire Tim. This pitch is a little too high and on the inner half of the plate, and Claire Tim drives it perfectly over the right field fence and it makes you wonder because Villa was so close to making that catch in left field the pitch before, but that's for sure. Three two. Another walk for Michaela Wark, her second of the ball game. Up here, it's kind of tough to see, um, you know, the whole swing, but I think that's one of those things that you kind of just when things pop out, you tend to notice you that. See, what does that do for Lexi Kilfoyle in the circle knowing that okay tonight I've got some run support. Yeah, as a pitcher it just has to give you so much confidence heading in to the top of the fourth just knowing that your offense is going to have your back. He has and we've seen her in the dock position for this lineup a few times so just a very talented player with a bright future. Rosie Davis slides collects throws the reach by God but at first that's a terrific defense number six in the country leading Texas Tech right now number six in the conference and that one is hit into right field McDonald underneath it and Texas Tech goes down in order so the Cowgirls put four up at the bottom four of the uh, example of just a kid going out there working and earning playing time she gets underneath that one, and that's going to be a little bit of trouble, but a great job by Oric to finally get back, backhanded, and get her hand up there and bring that one in for out. Softball at Oklahoma Baptist. Brother played baseball at Murray State. And hits that one into left field is Via. This time able to take a couple of steps to her right and get the sex at Liberty before she came here. And it's the incredible family heritage she has. We'll talk more about that in the next AP is this time she grounds out to second base. Jennings flips it with the glove to Barnhart. Nine pitch inning. Trying to get out of damage here. And saw that play just the last half inning. This time it's Davis to Godwin taking the glove flip over to first. We saw exactly the same thing. Kennedy Kreitz the catcher kind of got things going for him a little bit. 
her last time up. But this time she will ground out to Talon Edwards, the third baseman, for out number two. The young lady at second base last year was in her fifth year. Came from the Big Ten. There is a walk issue to Barnhart. Give her credit. She's having a good day here. Year in and year out, but we talked about Kenny Gajewski. He's been able to do that, bringing in the talent that he has. That one is hit to Carly Godwin. She will step on first, and we are done through four and a half teams in this league. And this is a huge series for Texas Tech, and that's a huge hit right there. You talk about a no doubter. Sound the horn. Home run. Carly Godwin leads it off. That's the third home run of the game. And the Cowgirls lead it 6-3. 42% of their run production coming from home runs. That is certainly the case here tonight. Carly Godwin with so much power in her swing. She just gets her hips open so quickly and rotates so fast and just hits balls so far because of that. She has so much power and just looks so good as a freshman. On the state. That one is hit into right field. Wyckoff steps in and then has to retreat and then loses the ball, but it was on the transfer, and that'll be an out for Rosie Davis. That on the pregame as well. The 2-2, hitting the gap. Jennings tries to backhand it, can't get there, and that's going to be a single for Claire Tim. Yeah. And there's ball four. That is the third walk for Wark on the ninth. Very ninth. Texas, a uh, Texas Tech schedule. Strength of schedule is actually 48. McDonald hits it in the hole. And the runners will hold, but the bags are juiced. One gone, and there's a single for Lexi McDonald. She is away. There's ball four and an RBI walk for Megan Bloodworth. Great job right there, a four-pitch ball. Offense is really heating up for Oklahoma State. One, two, and the ball gets away from the catcher. Price and the Cowgirls are going to score another run. The runners will advance. So that would appear to me to be a passed ball. And the Cowgirls add another one to the to the board. Yeah, it looked like the catcher, Kreitz, kind of just missed that one. And, uh, Scotland David so fast, able to score from third. Yeah, it's such a terrific. Winning run is on first for Oklahoma State. And they do have two outs, so it's going to take a couple of hits strung together. Great job by Lexi McDonald. Head first, hand reach slide to get under the tag on another pass ball. Another score for Oklahoma State. The runners will advance again. <laughs> Lexi Kilboyle got a, or sorry, Lexi McDonald. Great read on that. As soon as it went to the backstop, she took off and able to sneak in another run for Oklahoma State. Yeah, not the most graceful slide she's probably <laughs> be. That one is hit, and the run's going to score, and Caroline Wong took an angle to turn at first and nearly got there a little late. Instead, she gets the RBI single. They are going to review it, but let's take a look here. I mean, she was taking an angle, looked to me like she thought she was going to be rounding first, but the play was right there. Oh, looks like she twisted her ankle on the way over, too. That did score Bloodworth. And they are going to review this. Here's the 2 2. That one's hit sharp. Not sharp enough. Not as sharp as I thought initially. As Via drifts over into foul territory and is able to get the third out of the. There's a. Almost a check swing, half-hearted swing, knowing I'm not going to 27 games due to that injury. And for her to, you know, so as you talked about, struggle a little bit to come back this year and play the way she has and work the way she has been good. And great job there by Carly Godwin. She got stretched. She has really started to pitch well here in the latter part of this ball game. They did give up that hit to Oric there. That was going to be hit softly back to her. Fills it, turns, throws in time. And 
they're done here in the top six. We go to the bottom half of the status. Hold the Cowgirls off the board one more time here. There's a check swing. It's going to stay on the line, and the Cowgirls are safe. How about that? Rosie Davis, the unintended bunt. Right moved over to left, and the Cowgirls have kind of moved, jostled some things around in the outfield in this ball game as she hits that one back to first. Will move Rosie Davis over, but she'll be out at first. Eskey's eyes, and, and to, to many people who knew the story, that's for sure. As she hits that one, it's going to be gloved by the pitcher. Reigns started to go to third, changed her mind, and created a new pitch called the mix up. <laughs> Through that nasty mix up pitch. 3 2 in the dirt ball four. I think they were being pretty careful there. Well, it's short defensively for Oklahoma State tonight. Showed, but runner of the corners came in, backed off of it, and it was a ball. And the 3 0. Ball four. So the bases are loaded. And they're going to have to pitch to Jillian Poulard, or the Cowgirls are going to pitch. Has had a big day. And she hits that one into center field. It's deep. It's deep. And it is going to be a game winner. The Cowgirls are going to walk off Texas Tech with the RBI winner by Jillian Poulard. And the Cowgirls are going to run rule Texas Tech only the third run rule of the season. What an at bat there for the Cowgirls. Let's take another look at this one. Yeah, great swing here by Poulard. I like how she was aggressive on the first pitch. Even though the pitcher Reigns had given up a few walks, she saw a good pitch, knew she could drive it, and is able to walk off the game there with the run rule. Able to get the single, and the Cowgirls get the run, and the Cowgirls are going to win it 11 to 3. And